in differential equations using Laplace transform. These are the procedures for you to solve it. In order for you to solve this, you will require the formulas from the tables for the Laplace transform and also the formulas for the Laplace transform derivatives. Without further ado, let us try an example to demonstrate the procedures to solve the differential equations by using Laplace transform. This question asks us to use the Laplace transform to solve the differential equation here. Given x equals to 0, y equals to 4, and dy dx equals to 9. All three of these happen at the same time. From the functions given here, there will be second level derivative and the first level derivative. You will use the equations for the first and second derivatives to be substituted into the function. Before that, you will need to do the Laplace transform for the entire expressions. That means, these functions, every single term will have to be Laplace transform including the constant number. For the second level derivative and the first level derivative, you will need to substitute with the formulas. As for the constant number here, you are able to do the Laplace transform directly from the tables of formula. Once you have substituted the relevant function here, you will need to substitute the relevant value into the functions. It is given that x is equal to 0 when y is equal to 4. That means y0 will be equal to 4. And at the same time, dy dx will be equal to 9. That means y prime 0 will be equal to 9. Substitute the relevant value for the y0 and y prime 0 in the functions. You will get this. Rearrange the functions. You will get this. Put the Laplace y on one side while the remaining on the other side. Take out the Laplace y functions. You will get this to be multiplied with Laplace y functions. Move this to the opposite side. You obtain this. In order to determine the y here, you need to inverse the Laplace transform. To do so, you have to inverse it and you have to separate it into two fractions. Separating this, you will have to use the principles of partial fractions. This has been discussed in previous chapters in terms of the partial fractions, where you can factorize this into two components here and separate it to be an A divided by one of the component, B divided by another. Combining the two functions here, then you can find, you can compare this with the original function here, where A plus 2B equals to 8 and 3A minus B equals to 38. Solve the simultaneous equation here, you obtain a equals to 12, b equals to negative 2. Substitute the relevant value into the function here, which you will obtain this. Next, you can do inverse Laplace transform for the separate functions. And you will have to refer to the tables of Laplace transform in order for you to solve this. Based on the formula, this is your final outcome.